Hey guys, welcome to another video at Phone Ops. And yesterday we are talking about the Poco X3 Pro. No, this is a K20 Pro, it's just there for some reading stuff. But the video is about the Poco X3 Pro. We are going to flash the first custom ROM on this device that is Xiaomi.eu. Now, I did look everywhere, even on Xiaomi.eu's website, I did not find any change log. The only thing that they have mentioned is fixed safety net. So, in this video, we do have the pitch black recovery installed. We will go ahead and flash it and see how the ROM is. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can join us and help us get a thousand member. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. So first things first, you of course need a Poco X3 Pro. You will need one of these and one of these because as of now, the only way to access internal storage in recovery on the Poco X3 Pro is by doing formatting data. And for now, I've copied the ROM to this particular pen drive or flash drive, whatever you wanna call it. And you need an unlocked bootloader to flash a custom recovery. As always, with every install and preview, make sure all your data is backed up. We will be doing a clean install. Make sure you have more than 50% battery and do this at your own risk because this is unofficial stuff and you might damage your device so better do this step by step or only do it when you know what you're doing so pretty straightforward what we're going to do over here is we're going to connect the flash drive to the phone and then we are going to go ahead and flash the rom and once it boots up we'll see if there are any major differences or not so here we go the first thing that we need to do is connect the flash drive now, unfortunately, I cannot keep the phone like this. So you need to go to mount and mount USB OTG. All right. And then you need to go to wipe, advanced, Dalvik, substratum overlay, Magisk modules, data, internal storage, cache, cust, wipe everything. Okay. And then go to install, select USB OTG. Over here, we do have a few ROMs, but we'll flash Xiaomi.eu. Now, as you can see, the ROM is being flashed. It will take around two to three minutes because MIUI based ROMs are very, very heavy. They are around two to three gigabytes. So wait for the flashing to complete and then we will boot into the system and see if there is anything different compared to the stock ROM because remember, this is a MIUI based ROM. So let's wait for the flashing to complete. All right, so as you can see on the screen, the flashing has completed and there are some errors, but the ROM has been flashed. So we will wipe cache and reboot system. Now, remember, this is a MIUI based ROM. So the first boot will take some time. So please be patient. And once the ROM has been booted and on the setup screen, we will quickly skip through all the setup menu and then we will see if there is anything new, anything better that we have. So it's booting now, let's wait for it to complete the boot. All right, so just like that, we have booted into the system and I did play around with this ROM for like a couple of minutes. Now, having used Xiaomi.eu in the past, I do know that they make optimizations and things faster versus uh, actually including a lot of new features. So if we go to my device over here, you will see that it says it is Xiaomi.eu stable 12.0.4 is what it says. And overall, I did find this ROM to be slightly better smooth and you know, initial moments, there are still some stutters. I did not find uh, the Google Now or Google Discover screen to the left. That is something that is missing. Apart from this, the camera application has the all usual things which were there in the stock ROM, but a few extra options like dual video, AI watermark and all the other things. So the Xiaomi.eu magic is there. I would not say that the additional features that you see in K20 Pro or any other device with Xiaomi.eu are not there, but the major experience will come to you know highlight after using this ROM for a day or two. There are a couple of other ROMs as well. One is MIUI Mix, which is available. I will flash it on this device, but for now, this is you know just the first impressions. And what I would say is if you are on a stock ROM for now, even if you've unlocked the bootloader, you can try this but there is nothing major or there is nothing striking which will make you go to this particular rom or you definitely have to install it or there is uh, 
you know major performance gain or something like that there will be some beta features here and there which are not available in the stock rom which will be available in this particular rom for now this was the quick install and preview i know there is not much to say because this is a new device it has just started getting roms so hold on till we get aosp roms and the experience on this device will be altogether a different level let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye